Hello, my name is Chris Brennan. Today I'm going to show you how to install Libre Translate on Portainer. So, uh, a little bit about this series and going over home lives, starting installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, Libre Translate. It's a free and open source machine translation API, self-hosted, offline, ca capable, and easy to set up. Um, this is what it would look like. It uses Argos Translate Library. So, um, if we go and try it online, you can see it working. So, you can just type, I'm going to just type testing, and then I'm going to do uh, Spanish. And there we go. It translated it. Um, you can translate files, and you can also use it as an API. So, that's what will be installed today. So I'm going to go over the Docker and Pose uh, for Libre Translate. And I'm going to start in a Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over the search and type Libre Translate. And then now I'm going to see how to install Libre Translate on Portainer. So I'm going to go into it. And then Docker and Pose, I'm going to go into that. So version 3 of Docker and Pose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Libre Translate. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Libre Translate, and this is so it gives you custom names so you can re reference it in do Docker commands or the logs. So, an uh, image is coming off of Docker by default, and uh, because there's no year before this, this is the Docker image, this is the Docker image tag. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And the imports are 5,000 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then 5,000 on the container. Do not change the cont container port. So we're going to uh, 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 turn on the logging. And then health checks. And then um, environment variables. So uh, if you want to turn on API keys, the the API the API keys D, a DB path in the container. Uh, and whenever it re references anything, uh, whenever the actual container references anything, it doesn't know anything about the host path, only the container's path. And then um, we're going to update the models, and uh, you can put this to true or false. Uh, this updates the models on, on, on startup. We're going to load only these la language models right, right here. You can expand on these and uh, l load more if you'd like. Just, uh, just add them right here with comma separated. And then volumes are Big Bear Li Libre API keys, and that is a local volume that's defined down the bottom. And then on the containers path is app D D D DB. And on the host path is the left side, and on the right side is the containers path. So uh, a Big Bear Libre translate models, that's a local volume that's defined down in the bottom as well. And then on the container side is home Libre translate and dot local. And then it's read write. So um, now we're going to put it in its own network. So Big Bear Libre Translate a Network, and that's defined down the bottom as well. So now if we come down here, we'll see uh, volumes, and this is what, where we define the local volume that we use up here. And uh, the, the network is a bridge network. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming.
So I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go local stacks and then add stack. I'm going to give it a stack name of Libre Translate Stack. I'm going to come in, down here to the web editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker and Pose that I explained over in Beaver Video Assets. And then once you do that, you're going to say deploy the stack. Now what that done is it downloaded the uh, a Docker image off the registry, got it extracted, got it up with Docker Impose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. And then it also created the network and the volumes. So uh, we got it up and running. So now I'm gonna go over the uh, Portainer's uh, UI. So if you go in the stack, I, I, you'll see stack and then editor. And you'll see actions underneath this. So, so you can stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. You can uh, stack duplication slash migration. You can see the containers in the stack, access control. Now you can go up here to the editor and you can edit the Docker and pose. This is very handy. And then you can play with it. And then once you get a good Docker and pose going, you can update the stack. Now, if you want to repull image and redeploy, you can just check mark this. And if you have like a latest uh, ta tag running and the developer pushes to that tag, then you can just check mark this. It'll repull the image off the registry and uh, then redeploy it with the new updated code in it. Um, uh, you can also go over here to the stack and then go to the containers and have more options. So, so these are options specific for the cont container now. So actions, start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate slash edit. You can see the container status and how long it's been running. Um, you can go into logs and you can see it did da download all these models. So that took a little bit to get up and running. Um, uh, inspect, stats, console, attach, access control, the container health, and create image. Container details, the, the image, the port configuration on the host is 5,000, on the container is 5,000, the command, entry point, the environment variables, the labels. You can change the restart policy for this container um, right here and then press update. Uh, a volumes down here, it created in the network. So that's a little bit about portainers UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI. Um, so a partainer's IP address and then the uh, 5000 port. Uh, if you did cha change the, the host port, you would need to change it right here. So I'm going to go to it. So, so now it's up and running. And I'm going to just type in it, testing. And then it's going to say, uh, I'm going to do Spanish. And then now it translates testing to Spanish. Um, you can see the response, the request. So you can actually do an API request to it. And this is really handy. Um, you can see the API docs up here. And um, you can also go to the GitHub. You can uh, type in API key. Um, you can cha change your language. And then you can also change to dark and to light. You can also um, translate files up here too. And uh, so that's a little bit about Le Libre Translate. So I just went over step by step on getting Libre Translate working on Portainer. Uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.